people you believe in? Who do you trust? Do you trust God or do you trust the government? People in, in, in this camp over here that claim to believe in God, a lot of these people say, well, they it's godly to just listen to these people. Well, if that's godly to just listen to these people, then who's God? This, this is God. You may not, you might as well not even have a God. The whole reason you have a God is to distinguish it from man's law. And people have completely just forgotten that. I don't even think about that. It's just like, no, it says right here in scripture. It says in Romans, Romans 13. It says, it says follow because everything's supposed to be that it is. Well, they've completely taken that out of context. You know, it doesn't fit with the rest of the story at all about the whole revolutionary context conceptual ideas of eternal life and how we're sovereign beings and we don't need any emissary or or ambassador that we are ambassadors i have a direct relationship with the most high i have eternal life so i have a body and i can eat grown, food grown from the ground just like everybody else you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people have forgotten what it means to be God-fearing. You know, you can't serve God and the state. I'm sorry, you can't do it. It doesn't work like that. The whole reason that you're distinguishing these ideas is to know when the state is out of line, when man's law has gone astray. And if you don't understand the fundamental precepts of of what we mean by God, then how would you even begin to wrestle with that? You're, you're not. You are not wrestling with it. And this is where most people are. You know, it says in the last days that most of these people be lukewarm. People that believe in God don't actually step like they believe in God. And people that don't believe in God don't actually step like they don't believe in God either. They're not doing it. We ain't doing it. You know? We saw, hey, I ain't no God. But yet we don't act, we don't, be, we don't behave in a way where our day shows that we really don't give a fuck about anybody else but ourselves. Because if there was no God, then that's all we should care about, right? You know, what, where, where is our logic coming from? You know, oh, it's logical if it cares for me. Yeah, it's all relative. That's what, that's what you're saying. It's all relative. It all depends on my own personal circumstances. I could justify anything. Well, that's the only thing you'll say when, you, when you've abandoned the idea of God. You know? But you're not actually living like that. That's the thing. So you're not doing one or the other. Which, I mean, right? So, like, well, that's where most people are. Now, we've taken on the mark of the beast in so many ways because we can't think for ourselves. We don't provide for ourselves and we don't provide, we don't take care of our communities. Straight up. All we do is suck on the tit and then go down to the store and then we do whatever the fuck they tell us. And if anybody sticks their head up, they get smacked. You know, and we don't take all their shit. Disenfranchise you and call you a you know, a pariah, whatever, you know, look at that crazy guy over there, Rooster McNuggets, who the fuck is this guy, 